Last week, we unboxed a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B+. Plus. So cool. They took the Raspberry Pi 3, jammed a little bit of stuff in there, and made it better and gooder. G yes. That's exactly That's what That's the tagline. It's gooder. Tonight, we're going to see how much gooder it is than the Raspberry Pi 3. And also, I've got a Raspberry Pi 2 here, which some would say, well, that's not fair. I mean, this is a little 900 megahertz, little, you know, early model from 2015. But we really wanted to see the stark contrast right. and see in three years, how far has Raspberry Pi actually come? Right. That's what we want to see. So I have a Raspberry Pi 2. A Raspberry Pi 3, which I have in the Aladuino case. Those of you who are interested in it, this is what we put our NEMS servers in. Uh, if you go to nemslinux.com, that's what it looks like. And then I've got a Raspberry Pi 3 Model B+, which I don't think will stand up. There it is. There it is. So what I'm going to do with these three is we're going to bring them up on the screen and we're going to do four different tests. First of all, we're going to start with the boot process. How fast does it boot up? Okay. Then we're going to look at transferring a one gigabyte file you're going to see which is faster i've got a usb flash uh, usb external hard drive i'm going to transfer the files to we're going to load up an image in the gimp and see which one is going to be faster and we're going to use iperf to check how fast the networking is mm -hmm. okay so we're going to jump right into it first of all let's boot it up here is the raspberry pi 2 3 and 3b plus and this is the boot process, folks. So what we have here is the exact same image, the exact same card. Everything is the same. And I pre-recorded it so that there are no variables. So they all seem about on par here. Oh, B plus came up first. Oh, and what? The three beat it. The... Raspberry Pi 2 and Raspberry Pi 3 Model B Plus actually came up about the same time. And the 3 Model B, so this is the earlier edition of the, the Raspberry Pi 3, beat them all. Wow. So that's surprising. That's great. What we're doing here, folks, is answering the question because so many people are saying, you know, should I, I've got a Raspberry Pi 3, mm -hmm. should I go out and buy a Raspberry Pi 3 B Plus? Is it really going to be noticeable? Right. And we have to ask ourselves, well, what are we using it for? That's what it boils down to. So tonight, we're just looking at some basic stuff that everyone does. Everybody boots the thing up. And for some reason, that's a benchmark of speed. And see, for me, I wouldn't care either way. Those it's running all, all the time. Close. Yeah. And they're running up. On, it's connected to my TV. It's running 24-7. Right. I don't care about the boot time. But I do care if I'm going to copy files from my Raspberry Pi mm -hmm. to an external hard drive. Because it saves me having to pull the SD card and try to figure out how to mount things and move things around. So I'm going to use an external hard drive. So again, in order to keep this exactly one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one and everything is fair and everything is identical... Tonight, what I've done is I've pre-recorded the exact same process on all three devices. That gives us a very exact one-to-one -one comparison. Yeah. And in fact, I've pulled the SD card and booted up each one from the same SD card. So even the card, even the distro is exactly the same. Nothing has changed. Perfect. Just the SBC has changed. Very okay. cool. So I've plugged in an external USB 3.0 drive, and it's a two terabyte drive. It is um, a formatted NTFS, and I've installed NTFS 3G, and I've set it so that I have write access by ch modding uh, the folder as uh, 777, and I've set the ownership of the folder, the mount point, to pi. So I've got the ability to write to that. So let's see what it takes to copy a one gigabyte file. So I have a file that I've created using dev slash zero, which is just a random file generator using DD, and I've created a one gig file. So let's check out with this file on my desktop, which one is going to be faster. Drag and drop, let it go. Surprisingly, they all started at the same time. I kind of expect, I expect the, the latency to be a little higher with the Pi 2. I'm starting to get the sense that the 3B Plus is moving along quite a bit faster. Still seems fairly close to the B. It though. really does. But they're definitely motoring ahead of the Model 2. Definitely. The, the Pi 2 is it's the turtle. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure. 
Okay. So this is one gigabyte that we're transferring. Now, keep in mind, <clears throat> I mentioned that this is a USB 3.0 uh, external hard drive. It's a spinning hard drive. The Raspberry Pi 3, 3B+, and Pi 2 only have USB 2.0, so it's not going to give us the full speed. Oh, it looks like the, the 3B... The B beat it just yeah. by a fraction, eh? Yeah, it was about uh, second, second and a half. Oh. What? Wow, and, and hmm. the Model 2 is the just, pie two. Pie the two pie is just two. over halfway. Oh, boy. Wow. Well, this is a clear, this is clear that the Pi 3 Model B and B Plus are the clear winner here oh, with the copy operation. I'm going to let this finish for you so that you can see in real time how much longer it is taking on the Raspberry Pi 2. Again, nothing else has changed. The file is exactly the same. The drives are exactly the same. And we're copying this to a locally connected USB drive connected directly to the Pi 2. Wow, it's like taking it's sluggish. Over time. So if you imagine, if you work with files or you're moving files to a Plex Pi or something like that, yeah, the, the, the uh, Pi 3, either, either option is going to be significantly mm -hmm. faster for your data copy from USB. Stick around. We're gonna. Okay, so it's done. It took that long, but it's done. Okay, it's done. But keep in mind, we're going to be looking at the networking as well. But before we get into that, let's open the same image. Okay. On each of these devices using the GIMP. So I've downloaded this from Pexels, and I'm just going to right-click and click GNU Image Manipulation Program, and here we go. Came up a little faster on the B plus. Yeah. The Pi 2, we would expect to be in last place. It's from 2015. Okay, the B plus is done. Wow, B okay. came up behind it. So this is something that takes a little more oomph, a little more processor power to get that image up. And the <laughs> Pi 2 is finally up. So wow. definitely the B plus is a clear winner there. Yes. And this gives us a little bit of a look into, you know, I'm going to be using it to edit photos. And mm -hmm. if it is going to open the GIMP that much quicker, it may be that it's going to operate faster for us as well. Keep in mind that the Pi 2, the Pi 3, and the 3B Plus all have just one gigabyte of memory. Which is crazy. Yeah. I would have loved to see the Pi model B Plus, the have a little Pi 3 B Plus have more, but of course we're limited by the CPU. The That's CPU correct. cannot allow any higher... RAM, and that's where I'm thinking maybe the Pi 4 is going to have 2 gigs or maybe 4 that gigs if we're right. lucky. All right. Our final test here <clears throat> is to see the actual speed of the network interfaces, and we're going to do this using um, iPerf, which is a Linux tool that allows us to check the speed of data transmission and reception. So I've set up a gigabit server <clears throat> with iPerf perf server and we're going to run that on each of these three devices so let's see here we go it's not going to take long folks but we're, it's going to tell us accurately how fast each one is so the pi 2 up at the top left let's see what it tells us okay they're all done at the same time so it took about the same time so the pi 2 is 94.2 megabits per second okay. for a 10 over 100 that is fantastic you're looking 94 mm -hmm. percent of the promised speed yeah mm -hmm. okay the pi 3 model b so this is the earlier edition of the pi 3 is exactly the same lower left there oh. 94.2 megabits per second where things get really exciting is if you look at the pi 3 b plus your, your bandwidth speed is 321 megabits per wow. second. So this is where we look at that and we say, wow, it's significantly better than anything else as far as the Raspberry Pis go. Right. right. But it's still disappointing. In that, it's gigabit Ethernet. They right. promote it as, hey, the Raspberry mm. Pi 3 Model B Plus has gigabit Ethernet. No, it doesn't. Right. Come on. Well, why is that? It's because the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B Plus, the network interface controller runs off of the USB 2 right. chipset. And that means that it's limited to 322 megabits a second. I'm getting 321. Nowhere near. So we're looking at a difference of 94% of the promise speed versus only 32% of the promise speed on the B Plus. Right. But still significantly faster. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So it's going to make a difference on our Plex Pi server. Absolutely. Because we're streaming media video to our devices through the network, it's going to make a huge difference for you if that's what you want to do. But if you're connecting and you're using it as a computer, the, the network speed is probably not going to make much of a difference to you unless you're using a local NAS or something to store your files. Then it will make a difference. Mm -hmm. But generally speaking, I'm not seeing a huge amount of difference in speed between the Model B and the Model B Plus of the Pi 3. Right. That said, keep in mind, as they operate, as you're doing more with them, they're going to throttle. And the Raspberry Pi 3 is 1.2 gigahertz at its high end, and it can throttle down to 900 megahertz. Well, the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B Plus starts off at 1.4 gigahertz, and <clears throat> it will throttle down to 1.2. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're going to always have, uh, if, if you get into that, like you're using it and... and building up some heat, the 3D Plus is going to be significantly faster. Right. For it.